Hello everybody! Today we are going to be orthographic mapping words that have the vowel teams that make the long U sound. All these make the long U sound. A vowel team is two vowels or in this case it can include a consonant like EW. Um, so these are two vowels, U, E, and in this case the vowel is teaming up with a consonant, which is W, to make the long U sound. So all of these words make the long U sound with the vowel team EW, and all of these words make the long U sound with the vowel team UE. That's OO, that's the sound it makes, OO. Ooh, ooh, new, do, flu, ooh sound. Now you want to go print this page out and find a plastic sleeve or something plastic to lay on top so that you can use a dry erase marker to write on it and get you something to wipe off when you're done. Get you some beads or some play-doh or anything that you can use to map out the sounds with in these sound boxes. Get you something to manipulate the sounds with, whether it's uh, something like this or you could use something like this to pop out the sounds on. Or we will be tapping out the sounds which is what I got these little wiggly eyes for to just make it more fun so you can make tapping out the sounds more fun you can find these at the store. I got a pack of these off Amazon in all different colors but whatever you want that entertains you to tap and graph and make a sound with as you say the sounds so all this will stick in your head, but make sure you do this with me at home. Don't just watch it. You got to use your senses and do this with me so that these things will stick in your head. Okay, so let's get started. Our first word we're going to map out with a long U sound that has vowel team EW is flu. Flu. Uh, the bird flew over my head. Flew. 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 You can see there's three sounds. One, two, three sounds. Flew. Flew. The f sound is F. F o o. o. What's making that O sound? The vowel team E W. Why did I put it in one box? Even though it's two letters? Because it's one sound. O is one sound. This is mapping out the sounds, not the letters. So we put each individual sound in the box. Flu, flu, flu. Now when we write it down here, I'm always going to start out with a capital so we can practice writing our capitals. Capital F. Flu. is one sound even though it's two letters because it's a vowel team. Full oo. Good job. This little fuzzy mitt makes a eraser too and it's fun to play with. The next word is 
few, few. I wanted a bunch of candy, but I only got a few pieces of candy. Few, few, few. Ooh, two sounds. Ew, few. Is F. Ew. One sound, so it goes in one box. Ew. 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 Few. Ew. 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 Few. Good job. The next word is stew. Stew. Mom made a stew out of last night's meat. It's a soup. Stew. 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 Ooh, three sounds. One, two, three. Stew. St. Ooh. S is an S. T, t is a T. St. Ooh. Ooh. E W vowel team. St. Ooh. St. Ooh. Stew. Capital S. S. T. Ooh. St. Ooh. St. Ooh. Stew. Don't say ooh when you're eating mom's stew, though. She might get offended. Like, I spent all day on that stew. The next word is new. If something isn't old, it's brand new. New. Mm ooh. Mm ooh. New. Mm ooh. Two sounds. Mm ooh. New. Mm. Is it in? Ooh. Mm, ooh. Val team EW. Mm, ooh. New. Mm. Ooh. Mm, ooh. Mm, ooh. New. Good job. The next word is brew. Brew. Uh, your mother brewed that stew all day. Or the witch's brew was full of scary stuff. <laughs> brew. Or you can brew tea in a pot. Or brew coffee. Brew. B er oo. B er oo. B er ooh three sounds B er ooh B And remember if you can't remember which way B's and D's go go back and watch our left and right video and it will teach you the hand trick on how to know which way B's and D's go All these videos need to be watched in order so you'll know what we're talking about. B b er b er ooh ooh b er ooh b er ooh brew 
capital B, B, R, ooh, B, R, ooh, B, R, ooh, brew. Good job. The next word is shrew. Shrew. A shrew is like somebody who's not very nice. Um, it can also be a kind of animal, a tiny little animal um, that lives underground. Shrew. 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 Ooh, three sounds. Shh, er, ooh. Shh, what shh? What makes this shh sound? It's a digraph. S H. If you don't know what a digraph is, go back and watch the digraph videos. Shh, shh is a digraph, which is two letters that make one sound, which is why it's only in one box. It's one sound. Sh, er, er, ooh. Once again, one sound, one box. But this is a vowel team. This is a digraph. This is a vowel team. Sh, er, ooh. Sh, er, ooh. Shrew. Sh, er, Ew. Diagraph. Vowel team. Sh er ooh. Sh er ooh. Shrew. Good job. The next word is new. New. Now this isn't new like something's not old but new. This is new like I knew what was coming. I knew the answer to the question. New. Mm-ooh. 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 Two sounds. Two sounds. Mm, ooh, just two sounds. Mm, what makes the n mm sound? The n. What makes the oo sound? E W, the vowel T M E W. But this isn't that kind of new. This is new like something brand new that's not old. This is new like I knew the answer to a question which means there's something special in it. There is a silent letter in it. There is a K at the beginning of the word new because I know how you can't hear the K, K. It's silent. If you said this phonetically like it would sound, it would be knew, but you don't hear the K. It's just pronounced new, but the K is there. So this is the part you have to learn by heart, that that silent K is in the front of the word new when you're talking about knowledge, like you knew something like in your brain. You knew about something. So we put the K in the box with the N because you don't hear it. It has no sound, so we're squeezing it into the N box. So we got n ooh n ooh new. Even though we got four letters, we got two sounds. Those silent letters are very tricky. So here's our silent letter K. I'm gonna make it a capital. And then the letter we can hear is the n in new. Ew. So we got our silent letter with our N, N, and then the 
vowel team EW making the oo sound. Remember, this is the part we have to learn by heart is this K, tricky K. N oo, n oo, new. I knew you could figure out how to spell new. Good job. The next word is crew. If I'm on the job with a bunch of different people, all those people are my crew members. Crew. Crew. K-er-oo. 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 Three sounds. K-er-oo. K-k. Now what do we know about the k? sound. It can be made by two letters. It can be made by C or K. So let's just think about that for a minute. Let's move on to the next sound. K -er -oo. Er is the next sound. What well, makes the er sound? R. Er. Now remember our kiss the cat rule and if you haven't watched that video make sure you go back and watch the video on the kiss the cat rule. If the k sound is followed by an E, I, or Y, then the K sound is spelled with a K. But if it's anything other than an E, I, or Y, the K sound is spelled with a C. Is this an E, I, or Y? No, it's an R, which means the K sound is a C. So now we know what the beginning sound K is, a C, K, er, oo, oo is the vowel team, e, w, oo, oo, k, er, oo, k, er, oo, crew, capital C, k, er, oo, k, er, oo, k, er, oo, crew. Good job. The next word is through. Through. I threw the ball back and forth with my dad. Through. 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 Oops. Th, er, oo. Three sounds. Th, er, oo. Three sounds. Th, th. What makes the th sound? It's digraph. Th, th. TH makes the th sound. Th, er, oo. Oo is our vowel team EW. Th, er, oo, digraph, vowel team. Th, er, oo, th, er, oo, through. Capital T, H, is th, er, oo. Digraph, vowel team, th, er, oo, th, er, oo, through. Good job. Grew, the next word is grew, grew. Like if I'm growing my vegetables and then in the past tense they already grew or I grew up to be big, grew. G -er -oo. G -er -oo. G -er -oo. Three sounds. G -er -oo. G G. It's a G. Er. Oo. 
ooh. G er ooh. G er ooh. Grew. Capital G looks like this. G er ooh. Foul team. G er ooh. G er ooh. Grew. I grew my own vegetables. Good job. The next word is blue. Blue. This is not like the color blue. This is like I had a stuffy nose and I blew my nose on a tissue. Or I blew up a balloon. Blue. B -o -o. B -o -o. B -o -o. Three sounds. B -o -o. B -o -o. B -o -o. B -o -o. Blue. And capital B looks like this. B O O. And there's your vowel team. B O O. B O O. Blue. Good job. The next word is screw. Screw, like a screwdriver. I want to screw in the screws nice and tight so that the furniture doesn't fall apart. Screw. 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 Four sounds. Now remember, the k sound can be two things, right? C or K. So let's think about that k sound for a minute and move on to the next. Er, 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 sk, er. So the kiss the cat rule says the k sound when followed by an E, I, or Y is spelt with a K. Anything other than an E, I, or Y would be spelt with a C. Is this an E, I, or Y? No, it's an R. So the letter next to the K sound is an R, which means the K sound is spelt with a C. Skr. Ooh. And there's your vowel team. Skr. Ooh. Sk er oo screw capital S lowercase C sk sk er oo there's your vowel team sk er oo sk er oo screw good job Our next word is drew, drew. If I was drawing something in the past, I drew it. Or if I drew out my sword to fight, or I drew a bath so I could take a bath. Drew. D er oo, d er oo. D er ooh. Three sounds. D er ooh. D. Remember which way a D goes? Opposite of a B. And if you don't know, go back and watch left 
upright video so you can learn the hand trick so you know which way a D goes. That video will also tell you which way an L and a J goes and if you get those confused. D, D, R, U, D, R, U, D, R, U, Drew. And a capital D goes the opposite direction. D, R, U. There's your vowel team. D, R, U, D, R, U, Drew. Good job. The next word is chew. Puppies like to chew on the furniture, but that's not a good thing. Chew. You need to chew your food well before you swallow it so you don't choke. Chew. Ch ooh. Ch ooh. Ch ooh. Two sounds. Ch ooh. Ch. What makes the ch ch sound? It's a digraph. Ch. C H makes the ch sound. Ch ooh. That's the vowel team E W. Ch ooh. Ch ooh. Even though it's two sounds, it's four letters. But it only goes in two sound boxes because it's two sounds. A digraph and a vowel team. Ch ooh. Ch ooh. Chew. Ch. Ooh. A digraph and a vowel team. Ch. Ooh. Ch. Ooh. Just two sounds. Chew. Good job. The next word is skew. Skew. If something is askew, it's off-centered. It's not quite right. It's just kind of off-balance, not where it should be. Skew. If I have a skewed idea of something, then what I'm thinking about it isn't quite right. Skew. You. Sk you. Sk you. Three sounds. Sk you. Sk. Actually, before I do that, I'm getting carried away here. We don't know yet what the k sound is. Sk. So let's move on to the next one. Ew. We know what ew is because it's our vowel team. E W. Sk. U. Now, even though this is a vowel team and it's two letters acting as one sound, this is still an E. So what's our kiss the cat rule? If the k sound is followed by an E, I, or Y. What's it spelt with? A K. So skew is spelt with a K. Sk, you, sk, you, sk, you, skew. There's a vowel team. Capital S. U. There's our vowel team. Sk. U. And that K, the K sound, k, k, is spelt with a K because of this E. Sk. U. Sk. U. Skew. Good job. That's all of our vowel teams that have the EW. Next, we're going to do 
the vowel teams that make the oo sound, but with a U-E, the U-E vowel team. And our first word is do, do. This is not do like do you want to go to the store. This is do like your paper is due by Friday. Your library book is due to be in tomorrow or it's going to be late. Do, do, d, you, d, you. D, you, two sounds. D, you. D, remember which way a D goes. D, you is U E vowel team. U E makes the U sound when it's together. It team two vowels that team up together to make the long U sound. U D. Ooh, d, ooh, do. Your book is due back at the library soon, so don't be late. Capital D goes the opposite direction. You, d, you, d, you, do. There's our vowel team. Do. Good job. Our next word is blue, which is the color blue, like this table here is blue, blue, b-u-l-u, b-u-l-u, blue, b-u-l-u, three sounds, b-u-l-u, b-u-l-u, Remember which way a B goes. B, U, U. B, U, U. Here's our vowel team. U, B, U, U. Blue. Here's a capital B. U, U. B, U. Ooh, there's our vowel team. B -u -u. Blue. The color blue. Good job. The next word is true. True. The opposite of true is false. If something is not false, it's true. That means you're being honest about it. You're being truthful. True. T -er -u. T -er -u. T -er -u. Three sounds. T -er -u. T -t is it T? -er -u. Our vowel team U E. U. Er, ooh, t er, ooh, true. T er, ooh, t er, ooh, Val team U E. T er, ooh, t er, ooh, true. Good job. Our next word is clue. Do you have a clue how to spell the word clue? I could give you a clue, but I'm not going to. Clue. K -o -o. K -o -o. K -o -o. Three sounds. K -o -o. Clue's also a game people like to play. It's a board game. Clue. What makes the k sound? 
We don't know because it could be a K and it could be a C. So let's just think about that sound for a second and move on to the next sound. K -ul. What makes the UL sound? L. Well, the kiss the cat rule, remember it. Is this an E, I, or Y? No, it's an L. If it were an E, I, or Y, it would start with a K, but it's not. It's an L. So that means this first sound k is spelt with a C. That's our kiss the cat rule. K, U, U. K, U, U. K, U, U. There's our vowel team. K, U, U. Clue. Capital C goes all the way to the top. K, U, U. There's our vowel team. K, U, U. K, U, U. Clue. Good job. Our next word is Sue. Sue could be a person's name, Sue, or you could sue somebody in court, Sue. Sue, Sue. Ooh, two sounds. S ooh. S is an S, and ooh is our vowel team U E. S ooh, vowel team. S ooh, S ooh, Sue. Ooh. Here's our vowel team. S ooh, s ooh, sue. Good job. Our next word is glue. If I need something to stick to the paper, I'll glue it to the paper so it won't fall off. Glue is sticky substance that holds things together. G -o -u, g -o -u, glue. G -o -u, glue. G-O-U. Three sounds. G-O-U. G. G is a G. O U is our U-E vowel team. G-O-U. G-O-U. Glue. Capital G looks like this. G. O. U. There's our vowel team. U. G. O. U. You might say U when you're using the glue because it's sticky and it gets all over the place. U. Glue is sticky. G. O. U. G. O. U. Glue. Good job. Our next word is hue. Hue. Hue is like a shade of a certain color. Like uh, the color blue can come in several different hues. This is a different hue of blue than this is. Hue. You, 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 two sounds. You, you, there's our vowel team. You, you, you. You. There's our vowel team. You. You. Hue. What hue of green do you like best? I like all different hues of color.
Good job. Rescue. Rescue. This is a two-syllable word. Rescue. Rescue. To rescue somebody is to save them. If somebody's drowning, you need to rescue them so they don't drown. Rescue. R-E-S-C-U. 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 That's five sounds in the word rescue. R-E-S-C-U. Rescue. R -e is a short E sound. R -e and U -k U is the vowel team U E. Now what's this K sound? According to the kiss the cat rule, this is not an E, I, or Y, so this should be a C. K. R -e -s -k -u. R -e -s -k -u. Now, how do we know that this E is making its short E sound, E, eh, and not its long E sound, E? Because of where our syllable division is. Res, Q, res, Q. If you'll go back and watch the syllable division videos, we have a vowel here. And we have a vowel here. Well, this is actually two vowels, but it's one vowel sound, so we're counting it as one vowel as far as syllable division goes. Here's our vowel, here's our vowel. And then we have two consonants in the center. So where do we split the vowels? Between the two consonants. This is where our syllable, our syllable division split goes. The S goes with the E and the C goes with the U. Now, that means this E is closed in by this S. And that's why this E makes its short sound E. Eh. Eh, skew. Now, if this S was not there, it would be open. The E would be open, which would make this E make its long sound E. But it's not rescue, it's rescue because of this S is closing in this E, making it short sound. If you don't understand syllable division, go back and watch our syllable division video so you'll know how to spell these longer words. It'll tell you how to spell the short words too because open and close is very important as far as how these are pronounced and spelled. R-S, and the kiss the cat rule tells you that this is a C, k, k, and then this is a vowel team. So there's a lot of rules in this word that tell us how to spell it and tell us how to pronounce it. Syllable, di syllable division, teams, and rules. R-S, k, u, R-S, you rescue it might be a lot to take in but if you just practice it you'll remember these things in no time so you could conquer these bigger words now capital R looks like this R -E U. There's our vowel team, our k sound, that's the kiss the cat rule. Our syllable division is right between the S and the C, 
and this is a short sound E because of that S. R -S -K -U. R -S -K -U. Rescue. Big words, you did a good job. When you get older, there'll be even bigger words. But as long as you learn all these rules and all your syllable division rules, you'll be able to conquer those big, big words with multi-syllables. Our next word is pursue. Pursue. If I'm going to pursue somebody, I'm running after them. I'm chasing them. If I chase somebody, I'm pursuing them. Four sounds. Er, ooh, four sounds. P, p is a P. What's the next sound? P, er, er, we know that's an R. P, er, s, that's an S sound. P, er, s, and then ooh. Ooh sound is our vowel team, U-E. That's our vowel team. Now look at this word. Does this look right? P -er this is a two-syllable word. Per su. Per su. So we know something's missing. Because here is the syllable division. And this, we know every syllable has a vowel sound. Not necessarily one vowel, but a vowel sound. Like I said, even though this is two vowels, it's one vowel sound. So what are we missing in this half? We're missing a vowel sound. Per, su. We need a vowel in this syllable. It cannot be a syllable if it doesn't have a vowel sound. Well, what can make the er sound? This is an R. And if you go back, if you haven't already seen the bossy R video, the rule with the bossy R is it will make whatever vowel is next to it that's in front of it say its name. It'll say er, er. So what we're missing here is an E. P er. I stuck the E in the sound box with the R because the E-R makes one sound. Er, it doesn't get its own box because it doesn't have its own sound. P -er -s -u. This bossy R is making this E say er. P -er -s -u. P -er -s -u. Pursue. Capital P. Er. S. U. P. Er. S. U. We got a bossy R and a vowel team. R makes the E say er. P. Er. S. U. P. Er. Ooh, pursue. It's tricky. A couple of different things going on, but if you just practice these, you'll remember it in no time. Good job. Our next word is review. If I review a show, and I'm going to watch it and then tell you whether I think it was good or not. Review. 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 
four sounds. R, E, V, U. R, E, well that's obviously an E, a long E. R, E, V is a V. And then U is our vowel team, U, E. So there's our vowel team. Why is this E making a long E sound and not a short E sound? It's because this is a two syllable word and our syllable division is right here. We have a vowel and a vowel sound, two vowel sounds, but only one consonant in between these two vowel sounds. And when there's only one consonant in between, this vowel usually slides to the right. It usually goes with the vowel to the right. Not in every single case, but in most cases, this vowel will go with the, this consonant will go with the vowel to the right. So our division here is between the E and the V, which means this E is left open, which means there's nothing left to the right side of the E, which is why it makes its long sound E. If it was closed in by this V, it would make short sound E, eh, which would be REVIEW. But it's REVIEW. REVIEW. So that's our syllable division rules to why this is long sound, and that's vowel team. Review. R E V U. There's our vowel team and long E. R E V U. R E V U. Reeve you review. Good job. All right, that's all of our long U sound vowel teams. You did a great job. So we already covered the long O, the long A, which a whole lot were in the long A category. We covered the long I. Our next one is the long E, and that's the toughest category. But good job with all of the long U vowel teams with the U, E, and the E, W. And I'll see you next time in the next videos.